Hello. Hello, people. Good evening. Good evening. How are you this this evening? <laughs> How are you? How was your day? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm Ana Silvia Rodriguez de Funes. And my son, what's your name? Gabriel. Gabriel, nice to meet you, Gabriel. Nice to meet you too. Hi. Nice to be you too. Oh, you can speak English very well. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> only, only, how do you say? So, only, no, solo nosotros estamos, teacher. Si vea. No, now <laughs> there are 13, 13 is. <laughs> Sorry, es que no se ve aquí. Ah, ok, but... Thank you, teacher. Now, now Gabriel is famous. Yes. He's famous with the classmates. Yes. <laughs> Thank okay. you, teacher. Welcome. Good evening. Don't worry. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Ok, class, do you remember what number is this class? What number is this class? Don't you remember? Number five, number six, or number seven? You don't know? Five. Five? five? No, six. No. no. Sorry, I forgot it. I forgot it. <laughs> It's number seven. It's class number seven. Can you imagine almost the middle of the course? Almost the middle. Yes, time runs fast. Okay, people. So today uh, we're going to start a new section, section four. And the topic is, I never heard of that. I've never, or I have never heard of that. Today, you are going to learn the use of present perfect. Present perfect, okay? Have you ever, have you ever, you studied the present perfect before? Yes, yes. No, maybe. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, I used study. Oh, so it's going to be just like a review for you. It's going to be easier. Well, today is Friday, June 2nd. And we have the lesson objectives. Let's see. Ruth, would you like to read the, the objectives, please? Okay. <laughs> Practice asking and answering question in English using the present perfect and simple past tense. Practice asking question in the present perfect use. Using how you even, either, either, and describing you, your experience. Mm -hmm. Excuse me? Have you ever? Have you ever? Um, have you ever? And describing your past experience by responding in both the present perfect and simple past. This lesson includes an English oral comprehension exercise. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> and well guys today is an important day because um, it's the 30th anniversary of INSAFOR and remember that thanks to INSAFOR and Inglés Corporativo you have this benefit you have this opportunity to learn English so yeah you can join to the celebration of the anniversary <laughs> the 30th anniversary of INSAFOR okay and the best way to think is to connect in on time to the classes, do the exercises in the platform, and doing all you have to do to continue with your, with your benefit of this class. For example, today, Flor was asking uh, about one document. 
I don't know if you sent the document. Did you send the document? Yes, teacher, I sent. Yes, I did. Did. I did. I sent. Okay, perfect. If not, do it as soon as possible. It means tomorrow in the morning. <clears throat> it should be done before, but if you if you haven't done it, do it as soon as possible. Okay, we have four activities recording previous knowledge, talking about past experiences, let's practice and wrap up. But before we start, I need to take the attendance. So please say present or here when I mention your name. Are you here today? I hope so. Yeah, remember that it, your attendance is very, very important for a continuum with the scholarship from INSAFOR. Attendance is mandatory. The minimum percentage is 80%. And remember that each minute of your connection counts. Each minute is counted. So it's important to connect on time. Okay, I'm going to start with Adriana Greter Gonzalez Asa. Ana Silvia Rodriguez. I'm here. Gabrielito. <laughs> Blanca Guadalupe Benavides. Here. Thank you. Blanca Margarita Guevara. Present. Thank you. Brian Hyberson Escobar. David Alonso Mejia. Present. Esaú Ismael Tomar. Tobar. Esaú. Evelyn Janet Marroquín. Present teacher. Thank you, Francisco Alexander. Present teacher. Glendy Elisette Flores. Giselle Marie Hernandez. Present teacher. Uh, Iris Yanel Martinez. Isaura Evelia Vasquez. Present teacher. Jairo Naman Mos Ortiz. Yeah, I am here. <coughs> Thank you, Jairo. Josue Miguel Portillo. I'm here. Thank you. Karen Elizabeth Bernal. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Yvette Villanueva Guzmán. Present teacher. Oh, Iris Martinez. Present teacher, perdón, no podía desactivar el mute. Ok. Uh, Karen Ivette Villanueva Guzmán. Present teacher. Kenia Vanessa Corbera. Here teacher. Okay, Kenia. Leslie Victoria Morán Mirón. Luis Ariana Guerra Cáceres. Present. Mayra Patricia Pérez de García. Present teacher. Okay. Nerlin Jaciel Flores Reyes. Ninrob Saúl Guzmán. <coughs> Nubia Cristina Morales. Oscar Alexander Santana Reyes. Present teacher. Thank you, Oscar. Eh, Renato Salvador Ramírez. Present. Ruth Noemi Beltrán Sánchez. Present teacher. And Jenny Carolina Ardón Cruz. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. That happens when I speak too much. Too much. I'm using. <laughs> Remember those expressions. Okay. So you know what? We are going to continue practicing the comparatives. Why, teacher? Why? Because you need more practice with that. So, <laughs> so in this moment, I'm going to share with you this. Give me a moment. Okay. You will see the screen.
Can you see the screen? Yes. Yes, yes, yes teacher. Yes, we see it. Can you see the pictures? According yes, to the I pictures, see. we have Pete and Tom. Pete is, what is the correct option? Both are 45 years old. They are twins. So Pete is? As all as. No, as uh, all as. All as. As Tom, as all as Tom. Next, a mouse is? A mouse is not, not a, a big elephant. Has, 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 has an elephant. We are um, comparing the mouse and the elephant. There are big. Uh, exactly. The elephant obviously is bigger. So a mouse is not as big as an elephant. An elephant is bigger. Emma is <coughs> not as tall as, not tall as, tall tall as John. John. Correct. Yes. Is not as dangerous, not as, dangerous as, as tiger. Yeah. This is this card is funny. <laughs> Look at the face. A card is not as dangerous as tiger. <coughs> the next is. Yeah, we, we, there is a problem with this. Doesn't work. It's a stock. Please work. We want to go to the next. I don't know what happened. Internet problem. Maybe the internet. Can you imagine so convenient in this moment? You need a skyline from the Logmos internet. Yeah. It's Friday, teach. It's Friday. It's Friday and the computer knows. Okay, well, maybe we can continue later because for some reasons it's not working. Or maybe if I refresh. I'm ref I refreshed. Yes. Now. Okay. No. My oh, yeah. mother's my mother's pizzas are as delicious as, as delicious. my grandmother's pizza. They are both great. They are not as they are delicious. both great. They are as delicious as my grandmother, so they are the same. I can't carry these suitcases. They are <coughs> too heavy. Too heavy. Too heavy. Too heavy. Next. Not again, please. It happened again. Yes, the computer knows it's Friday. <laughs> We're gonna refresh again. The computer it's out. It's it's tied it. Ah oh, yes, it's tied. <laughs> okay. <coughs> I'm sorry, but you are for this job. You are very rude with people. I'm sorry, but you are not polite enough. Not polite for enough. For you are not polite not enough. Not polite enough. Not polite enough. For the job. But it really Kids, you can't watch this horror movie. You are too young. Too young. You are not young enough. Not young watch enough. Kids, you are not young enough. 
Mm, are you young. too young? Too young. young. You are too young. Not young it's enough young. would be for the movies for younger people, but this is movies for adults. Uh, so kids, you can't too young. movie. You are too young. You are too young. <clears throat> the white cat is oh. as bad not as, as bad as the brown cat. It's, it's as bad as the brown cat. Uh, no, as bad as, as bad. both are fat fat cats, right? <laughs> as bad as yeah. And the last. We have Josh the Eagle. As fast as 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 fast as as fast as as not as fast as not not as fast as not as fast as I am not as fast as Josh because he always wins. And that's it. Excellent. Thank you. You see, now you have you have improved on your understanding and use of comparatives enough and two. Okay, now after that, we are going to start our new topic with the present perfect. Okay, we have a conversation between Erin and Carlos. So I need two people to read this conversation. David and... And Blanca Guadalupe. Blanca, you are Erin, and Carlos, you are David. Sorry, David, you are Carlos. <laughs> Start. Really? Really? I'm sorry, I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. So, have you chosen a restaurant yet? We can visit. We can go to a big restaurant or uh, have a sandwich at a cafe. Have you ever had a Cuban sandwich? No, I haven't. Are they good? They are delicious. I had them many times. You really like Cuban food. Have you ever been to Cuba? No, but I went to Coyote in Miami. I had empanadas and rice and beans all the time. Thank you, David and Blanca, yes. So the, com the question is, have you ever had a Cuban sandwich? It's like if you were talking to a person from another country. Have you ever tried pupusas, right? <laughs> so they are talking about experiences, past experiences. And we have, as you can see here, some questions with the present perfect. For example, this one. What is the first? Have you been here long? Because she's late. I'm sorry, I'm late. Have you been here long for a long time? No, only for a few minutes. Next question. So, have you chosen a restaurant yet? Have you chosen, have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can decide. We can go to a big restaurant or have a sandwich at a cafe. Next question. Have you ever had a Cuban sandwich? sandwich? Have you ever had a Cuban? Sandwich? Yeah, and look at the answer. Look at the answer. The answer is no, I haven't. 
No, I haven't. Yes, I haven't. Yes, we're finally going to use haven't or hasn't. Uh -huh. <clears throat> and then it says, I had them many times. It's like he has tried the sandwiches many times. Have you ever been to Cuba? It's a question. Have you ever been to Cuba? No, but I went to college in Miami and I ate empanadas and rice and beans all the time. <laughs> Empan Cuban empanadas, right? So as you can see, we have the questions, right? With have, have, subject, ever, past participle, and complement. And that's what we are going to study today in this class. <clears throat> See, we are going to see what's the difference between simple pass and present perfect. Simple pass is for completed events at a definite time in the past. They we finish, they we did it, and it finished in the past. Yesterday, last year. Last weekend, in the in the morning, etc. But it started in the past and it finished in the past. That is the simple past. But the present perfect, as the name says, present, they started in the in the past and they continue to the present. That's why it's called present. Perfect, because it started in the past, but it continued for a period of time to the present. Example, have you ever eaten snails? The little animals, right? Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I tried them last month. So this, experience happened in the past, but it continues to the present, right? Somehow. And as it says here, this is simple past. I tried them last month. Another question in the past, did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Another question. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? No, I haven't. But I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. <clears throat> this is in the past. Last night, look. Definite time, last night. Last month, definite time. There is a definite time, a specific time. Did you go alone? No. I went with some friends. So as you notice, this is the formula in the affirmative form. <coughs> we have subject, have or has, verb in past participle, plus the complement. So in this case, it's important to know the verb in the past participle. Example, she has tried sushi many times. It doesn't finish this action, it continues, right? She will continue trying sushi. She has tried sushi many times. So that is in the affirmative form. In the negative, we use haven't or hasn't. Hasn't is for? For I and you and we, or for she, he, and it? She, he, and it. Mm -hmm. Hasn't. Verb in past participle plus complement. She hasn't traveled to Japan yet. She hasn't traveled to Japan. But she will travel in the future. For questions, we just need to have <clears throat> have and has at the beginning. That is the auxiliary. Having has. The subject. Verb in past participle plus the complement. Example, 
Have you ever written the past participle of write? Have you ever written a love letter? Yes, I have. I wrote a love letter to my boyfriend or to my husband, for example. Or no, I haven't. So I will ask you a question. Ruth, have you ever written a love letter? Mm, yes, I have. <laughs> oh, interesting. But in, in last time, lo, long time ago. Long time ago. Because I am divorced. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry for that. Okay. David Alonso, have you ever written a love letter? <laughs> yes, I have, but when I was 15 years old. <laughs> when you were 15 years old, and we didn't yes. have. <clears throat> we didn't have cell phones at that time. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Uh -huh. Oh, they were just a few. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> you know, guys, I'm sick again. <clears throat> so, remember, <clears throat> you need to learn the past participle of the verbs. For example, what is the past participle of be? Been. Mm. Come. 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 Mm -hmm. It's the same. Come. Do. Down. Down. Eat. Eating. Eating. Make. 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 Sing. Take. 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 Write. Writing. 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 Swim. 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 Yeah. It's, sorry, it's in the base form swing in the past simple past swan, swan, in swan, the past swan, 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 swan. <laughs> yes, the same with sing, sing, sang, song, sang, song, <laughs> sing, sang, song, <laughs> and for regular verbs. This is for irregular, but for regular verbs, it's the same, the same as simple past. The same simple past is the same as past participle. In regular verbs, for example, danced, traveled, studied, mm -hmm. they are the same. Forget. Oh, forget is irregular. Forget, forgot, forgotten. Forgotten. So you need to learn, you need to have a list with the verbs in the past participle forms. <clears throat> so we're going to practice, guys, for a moment. Let me just look for the, the web page. <clears throat> we will practice the structure for a... Oh, this exercise, I will send you... I will send this exercise for you to practice, but we're gonna do one here. Let's see, <clears throat> I'm looking for it. <clears throat> Excuse me. In a moment, it will be ready. Okay, so where are you guys that you're here? You are going to help me to complete what is the, the right form, the, the right or correct form of the verb. Have you ever been abroad? Have you ever? Have you ever been abroad? Correct. Have you ever drunk? Drink alcoholic drink. Have you ever drunk alcoholic drink? Drunk, 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 drunk. Fought, punch, fight. Fought, fought, fought. That is the past participle of fight. Have you ever appeared? Appeared. 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 
appear appear or appear appear I don't listen the difference between appear and appeared appear 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 have you ever appeared on TV? Appeared. Broken. 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 Have you ever broken? A bone. Broken. A bone. Maybe the, the arm or the hand or the leg. Broken leg. Cheating. Cheated. Have you ever cheated? cheated. cheated. This is we, we say copyright. Copy, copies. Have you ever cheated on a test? Hi, Karen is, is laughing. Maybe she did it. <laughs> just kidding, Karen. Just kidding. <clears throat> Have you ever uh, had a surprise party? Uh, a surprise party. A surprise party. <laughs> Right. Change. 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 Changed. 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 Have you ever changed? Have you ever changed your appearance and regret it? Draw. Have you ever driving? Driving. Driven. Have you ever uh, driven? Driven. Driven or driving? Drove, drive, driven. 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 Have you ever driven a car? Driving, driven a car. Have you ever eaten? Eaten. Have you ever eaten something different? Eaten. Eaten. Something different. Different or uncommon? Yes, I have. Have you ever eaten something different or uncommon, strange? Yes, in my case, I brought uh, eating some uh, local foods, local foods. For example? Baleadas in Honduras. <laughs> ah, baleadas. Okay, but I think that is normal. I have... But I, I, uh -huh. I, never, I never tried before, <laughs> so it was something weird. For me. It was weird for you, okay. I have eaten uh, armadillo. Armadillo. Kusuko, armadillo. Kusuko. Yes, in my grandmother's house. <clears throat> Next question. Have you ever fallen down? Falling? Falling down stairs? Falling. Have you ever fallen downstairs? Have you ever fallen downstairs? Have you ever fallen downstairs? I have fallen on the street, but not from downstairs. <laughs> this, as you notice, they are to talk, we use them to talk about experiences. Have you ever heard that special for the, thing? For the garden. For the garden. For garden. For garden. For okay. Like birthdays. Have you ever given? Have you ever given an excuse to get out? Given a felt excuse to get out. And you given a felt excuse to get out of somewhere. <laughs> or have you ever lied? Teacher, I am sick. And you are in a party. <laughs> now nah, you're kidding. <clears throat> and number 14. Have you ever? Have you ever dreamed? dreamed. Like a really dreamed. 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 Yeah, have you ever dreamed 
like a really real dream or had a bad nightmare? I have like even crying in the <laughs> when I wake up. And the last question. Mm -hmm. We the first one. Have Regret. 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 Of anything, regret it of anything you did before. Excuse me, teacher. What is the pronunciation? Regret it. Regret it. Regret it. Regret it. Regret it. Regret Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. <clears throat> you see, you need the list with the past simple and past participle of the verbs, right? Do, do you remember that I asked to have a list? Do you have the list with the verbs in past and past participle? If not, it's the time. It's the time to look for that, for the list. Okay, so let's continue, guys. <clears throat> so we have affirmative, negative, and questions. We have some exercises here that we are going to complete together. You will help me. <clears throat> Number one. What? Have you ever been? What Sentence. Have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? I yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. We with good. Ah, okay. We cooked. Cooked. Right. We cooked. We cooked. We cooked. We cooked. Hamburgers. hamburgers. But in El Salvador, we don't cook hamburgers. We cook meat, right? Meat or chicken. Mm. Oh, and sausages, the sausages from Cojutepeque. <laughs> okay, number two, have you tried? Tried, tried, tried. Sushi, yeah. have you tried sushi, guys? Have you tried sushi? No, I have No, I have No, I haven't. No, you haven't. No, you haven't? No, you haven't? No, you haven't? No, you haven't? Just, no. just I have. Mayra, and did you like it? I don't have it. I don't try it. Ah, you have not. You have no. not tried it. Okay. Have you tried sushi? No, I. What is right. it? Having. No, I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. No, I have. But I'd like to, or I would like to. Number three, did you have? Did you have? You had breakfast today? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Remember the we answer? If I ask with half, the answer will be with half. If I ask with did, the answer will be with did. Yes, I did. I ate. I ate. I ate, I ate because it's simple past. I ate a few breakfast. Have you ever ate it? It eaten. 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 Have you ever eaten Mexican food? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. In fact, I, I ate. I ate it. I ate some just last week. I ate some Mexican food last Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Um, I love Mexican food, tacos, tortas, and uh, burritos. Yes. Number five. Did you drink? Drunk. Drunk. Drink. This is drunk. 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 Drink, drink is a question. 
a simple past. And remember, when I have the auxiliary, the verb. Uh, did you drink? Uh, so drink yeah. in affirmative. Did you drink coffee this morning? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. did you, I, yes, I did. I did I have. I had, had, had some. Oh, I had some coffee. On my way to work. So you can see present perfect and simple past, but there is a difference between simple, uh, no, between present perfect and simple past. Sim simple past are actions finished and done in the past. Uh, the present perfect is still up to the present. Good, and we have here some of the questions, but before we go to the questions, I would like to do some exercises with affirmative, negative, and question. Can we make one example and share in the chat, guys? Uh, what the same the same sentence but affirmative negative and question for example i have never a, i have never been on an airplane I haven't been on an airplane. Have you been on an airplane? Oh, I have been on an airplane. I have traveled to Chico, to three countries. Good man. It's so, just an example. Yes, yes, the examples, okay? Affirmative, negative, and question. Remember, the three forms. I have gone abroad. I haven't been abroad. Have you been abroad? Yes. I'm mistaken with the first one. With gone. With gone, yes. I haven't gone. Have you gone? Ruth Seria, I have been to Canada or I have traveled to Canada. Only one verb. Okay, Karen, you are missing the half. I have never traveled to Italy. I have never. We can also use the third person. For example, my pa my brother has been to Machu Picchu. I have I haven't been to Machu Picchu. Have you been to Machu Picchu? <laughs> I have never drunk. Chaparro, uh -huh. aha. <laughs> okay, interesting. I have never traveled to Italy. Excellent, Karen. I have ridden a horse. I haven't ridden a horse. Have you ridden a horse? Yes, I have. When I was little. <laughs> okay, I want to see more examples there. Okay. 
Okay, the examples, I'm ready for them. Uh, Ruth, I don't get it. What is your idea, Ruth? Uh, it did say to when the, the cat is to work, and you say that I have been to to bread the cat because the, the cat, the mom cat, cat mom needs to die. You don't know? <laughs> no. The cat is diet, diet. And oh. the the little cat is don't have a mom. And this day I think I've been the cat uh, for breed. Ah, uh, okay. I think it, it, the, the idea would be like this. I have raised a cat. Okay, okay. I have raised a cat. I have uh -huh. Ah, okay. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. I have you ever eaten frog legs? No, I haven't, Karen, but I would really like to try them. I have forgotten my homework. Have you ever traveled on a train? She hasn't come to my home. Come at my home. Okay, good. Okay, more examples. Margarita, you wrote a picture. I have never yes <clears throat> yes yeah uh, I I wrote picture but the autocorrector appeared pintura <laughs> you have to put it in English you have to um uh, set your cell phone in English oh yes thank you Let's see. I have never driven a motorcycle. I haven't driven. I haven't driven a motorcycle. Have you ever driven a motorcycle? Uh, well, we usually use the verb ride, ride a motorcycle. Ride a motorcycle. So in the participle reading, the past participle, I have eating pupusas now. We don't use the expression now, Kenya. You can say, I have eaten pupusas today. I have eaten five pupusas today, for example. I have ever eaten torta. I have eaten a torta. Have you ever seen a whale? I haven't seen, sería Mayra, seen. I haven't seen a whale. Mm, I have wanted to travel on a cruise ship. I have not traveled yet. Have you ever done it? I have never done it and I wish I could. I have fallen from a bike. I haven't fallen from a bike. Have you fallen from a bike? Many times, David. And, and they were big accidents. <laughs> I have eating pupusas. Uh, okay. More messages. Have you ever written a book? I never written a book. Not a complete book, but part of a book. She has ever eaten tacos with milkshake. <laughs> For me, that's not a good combination. Okay, nice, good examples. Frappuccino.
I have watched Harry Potter movie. I haven't watched a Harry Potter movie. Have you watched a Harry Potter movie? Okay, good example. She has not danced tango. She has not danced tango. I never read in a horror book. <laughs> okay, very nice. Ah, have you ever, guys, have you ever fallen asleep in, on a movie theater? Have you ever fallen asleep on a movie theater, guys? Because I have. <laughs> I was very tired and my brother invited me to go to the movies and I couldn't say no, but I was so tired that I fell asleep in the movie theater. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was, it, the, the movie was Toy Story <laughs> and I was sleeping in a movie theater, can you imagine? Okay, good. Now we have here, guys, how to make questions. Uh, remember the half present perfect. Uh, we use half or present perfect in the past participle of the verb. And you can see here the contractions. I've is the contraction of I have. You, you have. He's, he has. She's, she has, it's, it has, we've, we have, they've, they have, hasn't, has not, haven't, have not. Have you been to a jazz club? Yes, I've been to several. No, I haven't been to one. Has Carlos visited theme parks? Yes, he's visited three or four. No, he hasn't visited any parks. Have they eaten dinner yet? Yes, they already eaten. No, they haven't eaten yet. So we use expressions already in affirmative. Already and negative we use yet. Okay, have you eaten dinner yet? I'm asking you, have you eaten dinner yet? Yes, no. I not yet. <laughs> oh, no yet, okay. No, oh, because yet. I am. I already my... have. Yes, I already have, okay. And we have these questions here. How many times have you done these things in the past week? Cook dinner, wash the dishes, listen to music, do the laundry, go to a restaurant, clean the house. How many times have you cooked dinner this week, Jairo? How many times have you cooked dinner this week? Sorry, could you repeat the answer? Okay, the question is, how many the times, question. Uh, how many times, you can say once, two, three, four, five times, how many times have you cooked, cooked, cooked dinner this week? This week, all time, three times, Okay, you can say, I have cooked dinner three times. Yep. Okay, thank you, Jairo. Evelyn, Janet, Marroquin, how many times have you washed the dishes this week? Um, I wash. I have washed. I have washed dishes always in all my free time all the week on the week on the week forever and ever <laughs> okay. Karen and Beth, have you how many times have you listened to music this week mm, twice in this week twice you have 
Mm -hmm. uh, you can say, I have listened to music twice. Okay. okay. Thank you. And uh, let's see, Francisco, you've been very quiet today, Francisco. How many times have you done the laundry this week? Oh, I have do la the laundry. I have done. I have do. I have laundry. done. I have done. I have done to the laundry two times this week. Okay, you have done the laundry twice this week. Me too. <laughs> On Monday and today. <laughs> yes, and tomorrow. <laughs> Then tomorrow, okay. Miguel Portillo. How many times have you went? Have you gone? To, how many times have you gone to a restaurant this week? Zero. <laughs> I haven't. I haven't gone I, to a restaurant this week. I haven't gone to the restaurant this week. But maybe to the weekend. Maybe on the weekend you can go to a restaurant. And finally, David Alonso, how many times have you cleaned the house this week? I have cleaned the house twice. Twice? A day or in, during the week? During the week. <laughs> <laughs> okay, David, just remember that uh, for regular verbs, the past participles are the same as in the simple past. We have more exercises here. Maybe we can finish them before we finish the class. We can complete them. Please help me. Have you done much exercise this week? Yes, I? Uh, I have already the, the verb is be. Being. Being. Already being. I have been. already been to Pilates, been to Pilates class for a time. Okay, number two. Okay, this is present perfect or... Well, yeah, it's present it's perfect. Present perfect. Mm -hmm. yeah. Have you ever have played? Have you ever... Have you played? Have you ever played? Have you have played? played? Have you, no siempre tiene que llevar el ever, okay? Have you played any sports this month? No, I haven't. No, I haven't the time. I haven't the time. No, I haven't. I haven't. ¿Cuál es el verbo aquí? Oh. Oh. No, I haven't had. No, I haven't had. I haven't had the time. No he tenido el tiempo. No, I haven't had the time. <laughs> okay. Now the other question is, how many movies have you been to this month? Watched. How many movies have you been to? What? Mm -hmm. How many movies have you been to this month? It's another way, right, to say how many movies have you watched? How many movies have you been to this month? Actually, uh, I've not I seen. haven't seen any yet. Exactly. I haven't seen any jet i haven't seen any jet okay number four uh you been how to have been, you been to any interesting parties yes have you been actually mm -hmm. have you ever been to any interesting paris recently no i i haven't i haven't and what is the word no, oh, I haven't gone. I haven't gone. No, I haven't gone. I'm gone. Is for gone. quite a while. For quite a while. Okay, number five. We almost finished. We almost finished. How'd you cook? How'd you cook? How'd you cook? 
have you cooked any food this week? Yes, I. Yes, I have. Um, already? Already. Made. Made dinner twice. How many times? Had to go. How to go? How to go? When? Gone out. Yes. Have you gone out this week? I. I have. I have. Eat it. I have eaten uh, fast food restaurants a couple of times. And yes, we finished. Okay, can you tell me what did you learn this week? This class, what did you learn in this class today? Present perfect. How to use present perfect. How to structure and how to use the present perfect. And what do you need to know to form the present perfect? What is important that you learn and memorize? The past participle of the verbs. The past participle. The verbs. Exactly. The past participle. <laughs> Okay, well, people, I will finish here and I will send you one exercise, one link, so that you can practice more the, the present perfect. And um, I just need the attendance for the people who can connect it late. Uh, can you tell me, I don't know if we have Leslie? No, Adriana Grete? No? People who came late, Brian Hyperson, Esaú Ismael, um, Glenn. Okay. Esaú oh, Ismael, you are here, okay. And. Glendy here. Glendy, okay. Leslie Victoria, no. Nerlin Hacien, Nimrod Saúl. Nerlin Hacien. Say present teacher. Ninrod okay. Saul Nubia, not present. Okay. Thank you, people, for connecting uh, to the class today. It was a pleasure to see you. And well, I will see you next Monday. Okay. We'll have more practice with the present perfect on Monday. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you teacher. Thank you. Enjoy See you Monday. Have a good weekend. Thank you.